Hi, in this video I will guide you through the first time setup of your G53F. So I have all the cables prepared here that we need for connecting Pulsa and the G53F. A motor cable which on the other end has two telephone plugs like this and this. The short arm is for right ascension, the long arm is for declination. Then we have two encoder cables which look like this on both ends. One long for declination and the short one for right ascension. Then I have prepared here the hand controller with one end of the cable connected and the other end of the cable loose. Now we will connect everything to Pulsa. Let's start with the hand controller. The hand controller goes here and then I fix it with the screws. Next I will connect the motor cable. This is the motor terminal of Pusa 2. And finally I will connect the encoder cables. This is the short one which I will connect to the one marked R which is for right ascension. So I will plug it here and the other, the long one, I will plug in the declination socket. Now we have Pulsa connected and what is left is connecting all these cables to the G53F. Okay. Let's start with the declination encoder. You find the declination encoder socket here. Cable connected. Now the next is the right ascension cable which is at the bottom end of the right ascension housing. Now we do the same with the motor cables. The short is for right ascension. We connect it to the right ascension motor, which is here. The other one goes to declination, which is here. When we have all the cables connected, we can connect the power cable of Pulsa, which is this one. And off we go. This is the initializing message which we get. For setting the parameters, we just click to the east to escape from this initializing menu and we will look at all the parameters that we need for Pulsar 2. To proceed, let's lock the clutches. First, declination, which is here, and then right ascension here. Now we enter the setup menu of Pulsar. and go one level up to mount parameters. We click to the west and go through all the values. Reduction must be about 340. Okay. Declination about 300, but this is not very important to get a precise value at this level. Then we go to main gear, which is 100, because this is the minimum value, but it's not important. 
motor resolution must be 400 for right ascension and declination as well. Next is rotation which we have to check first to enter the correct value. So now we exit the menu and with the progressive speed selected slew the telescope or the mount to the west. We see that it's moving to the east instead of the west so we have to change this value in the menu. Let's return back to parameters up to mount parameters OK and let's go straight to rotation left right. We enter and we change from left to right and then click OK. Now this is all set we go on to mount type which must be German track current go to current and stop current are given in the manual this may change uh, with the motors fitted encoder resolution right ascension mount encoder we do have so this must be set to yes the same for declination and no for motor encoder both in right ascension and declination. The resolution in right ascension is 72,000. Encoder direction leave it to the default value because this will be defined later on. The resolution in declination is 72,000 as well and for the direction do as before. Motor type is stepper and now we can do the automatic setting of the total reduction which is done by clicking OK on this menu. Now the mount will do it for itself. As you see, it's slowly slewing to the west and then to the east. And I will show you what the display tells. I will let you see the mount now. The process has been completed in right ascension and here we have a value which we should acknowledge if the percentage, the slip factor is higher or equal to 99%. Then we acknowledge one, once more the total reduction and then the same process is carried out for declination. It is important to have the mount balanced for this uh, operation which is perfectly achieved by inserting the counterweight shaft. Done for declination. We twice acknowledge the value and the process has been finished. Now we exit from the mount parameters and have a look at the user parameters. Click on setup, user parameter and let's look at the maximum go to speed. It should be about 6000 for, for right ascension and 7000 for declination. The next important parameter is ramp. It should be 1 for right ascension and 2 for declination. Backlash is best left to 0. 
Your latitude and longitude must be set correctly. And the U mode speed limit is another parameter that we need to set. If you set it high, higher than the maximum go to speed, you will always have a very silent operation of the mount. In this case, this is 8000. Uh, if you have a very high load on the mount, I recommend setting this value to 3000 in order not to have any problems in the acceleration phase of a go to. Go to mode is best if set to P2 logic, which means the intelligent handling of the meridian uh, problem for a German equatorial mount.